if you've ever been camping or hiking in the bush or forest before and had that one moment where you have complete appreciation for the outdoors, animals, plants and everything in this environment, maybe you're fortunate enough to live right beside one of these amazing ecosystems. How would you feel if we took that all away? No trees, no forest, no nothing. Not only is this thought simply sad, it would also have catastrophic results on the earth. If nothing at all were to be done about deforestation, this could be our future. Thank goodness there are people and organisations out there that are making a positive difference to the problem of deforestation. Before we solve any problems, let's define exactly what deforestation is about. Deforestation is the permanent removal of trees to make room for other activities. Unfortunately, this comes at a cost. Loss of wildlife, environment, more carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere, disruptions to the water cycle, resulting in flooding, pollution, climate change, and global warming. There are many more examples we will come back to in more detail in later sessions. So, why would we remove forest if there are so many negative effects? Well, good question. The world population is escalating at an incredible rate. Our current population of 8 million is expected to grow to close to 10 billion by the year 2050 according to the United Nations. This means an increase in demand for resources, and wood is one of those highly sought after. Trees are cut down for firewood, building materials, and paper. Think about your house. What is it mostly made of? Wood. What is there a lot of in your house? Furniture made of wood. What do we put inside the furniture? Books made of paper, which comes from, you guessed it, wood. Not only is wood an incredibly useful resource, it also takes up a lot of space. 30% of the earth's land is covered in forest. Therefore, trees are cut down to facilitate other activities. This includes mining of important mineral resources in forests like iron, copper, silver and gold. Another reason is to expand settlements, roads and infrastructure. The facilitation of agricultural plantations to grow cash crops like wheat, rice, coffee, cotton, spices and palm oil. Another reason is cattle ranching, to feed animals before being processed for meat. However, cattle feeding on the land depletes the soil of nutrients, leading to soil pollution. The animals also produce waste and release methane, further affecting the environment. Around 90% of log cutting on forests is illegal. Locals or organisations taking logging into their own hands, ignoring rules, regulations set by governments to protect the land. Forest fires are another huge issue. This can occur naturally, but is often another illegal method of removing trees quickly. The areas that are deforested the most are tropical rainforests, covering 6% of the world's landmass home to over half of all animal and plant species in the world. Trees hold around 30% of the total carbon dioxide in the world. Unfortunately, 2.4 acres of forest are lost deforestation every second. That's equal to two football fields. That equates to 78 million acres lost every year. That's around the area of Poland. If the current rate of deforestation continues, rainforests will not exist within 100 years. But there is hope. Governments, organisations and charities are fighting to preserve tropical rainforests. But more still needs to be done. And the great thing is that you, yes you, can help. I hope you are starting to understand the problem with deforestation and why trees and especially the rainforests are so vital. Make sure to check out the next video in the playlist. We will explore the effects deforestation has on the Amazon rainforest. If you didn't know already, this video series has a created unit plan attached for teachers to use in the classroom. Link for the unit plan is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. That is all for now. I will see you in the next video. Catch you soon.